Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today I have committed to cooking some pork butts to make pulled pork for some friends and family. So I'm going to bring you along for the ride and I'm also going to show you my foolproof method of cooking an overnight butt where you know everything's going to come out at the right time. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do and click the alerts bell so you'll get alerts every time I publish a new video and let's get started. I'm going to walk you through my prep here on just one of these butts. This is the biggest one I've got tonight. I've got five of them that we're going to cook, but this one's 13 pounds and I'm going to show you what I do to prep these guys. I usually start back here. This fat cap on this one's not really thick enough that I'm going to do anything with it other than just score it. I like to just score a simple diamond pattern in my fat cap before we season it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top side of this bud. I like to score this to create a little extra surface area that collects smoke and color as this guy cooks. And uh, I've been doing this for a while and I'm pretty happy with the results I get. So like I said, the first thing we've done here is we, we're scoring it and I'm going to pop up my tub here and flip this guy over and just start putting my barbecue rub on here. I'm using uh, the Man Cave Magic Number 2 here. That's my go-to homemade barbecue rub. And I'm just, I don't use a binder. I just uh, pat this on and let this start sticking. This butt's still wet where I rinsed it off. So it's going to hold the rub fairly well. Then I'll flip it up and get all four of the external sides. And then when I've got all the sides, I'll just put it back down, fat cap down, and I like to come hit the top of it with a really nice heavy coat of that. And we'll just pat that guy in, let this guy sit for a few minutes, and that's what I do for prep. And I'm going to prep the other four, and then we'll take these out to the grill. And just so you can see it all prepped, here's 54 pounds of barbecue pork getting ready to go on the grill. So we'll see you outside. Okay, I've got my Myron Mix and Bark fired up here. We're running at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three of these butts on the lower rack. I'm going to put my three larger ones down here and we'll just line them up. About like that. And then we will slide that rack back in. And I'm going to pull my top rack out. And we got the two smaller ones of the bunch. Going to go right up here on the top rack. And here's the game plan here. Here's how we do this for time. We're going to put these on there. It doesn't matter what size they are. They're going to all go for 12 hours in the smoke before we even come back and look at them again. So we'll see you after 12 hours. Okay, 12 hours. We've been cooking overnight for 12 hours and these guys have developed some beautiful color here. I'm going to try to zoom in just a little bit more where you can see that. So at this stage in the game, I'm going to take these off and foil them. And since I've got a lot, I'm going to put these in foil pans and just cover them with foil and bring them back. So I've got these guys foiled up in the pans. We're going to close this back up and we're going to ramp the temperature on the smoker up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And at this stage, you're going to be in here for two hours roughly. It can be anywhere from two to three hours to finish these off. So I'll start counting the time and I'll probably come back and have a look in about an hour and a half at these smaller ones. Okay guys, we're about two and a half hours into the wrapped portion of this cook. And the two smaller butts up here on the top are ready to come off. And I haven't checked the lower ones yet, but these guys actually, I think I'm gonna give those about 10 more minutes and then we're gonna pull these off and have a look. 
Okay guys, I've pulled these off and man, these things look absolutely amazing. I'm going to uh, check these guys. Oh yeah, those things are just probing absolutely like butter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these out, I'm going to wrap them in foil, and then we're going to rest them in a the cooler for a couple hours. Okay, after we let that rest for, I let this rest for a little over two hours, and what you're getting ready to see here is the result of this method that's basically foolproof. So let's just grab that bone, first of all, and you can watch that bone slide out of there just clean as day and I'm going to go ahead and put that one in the garbage can and this pork is so tender that it's just going to it's going to fall apart. I'm going to roll it out of my foil here and uh, just let you have a look when I just squeeze that with my hands and it just absolutely falls apart. These things were so tender they were almost uh, difficult for me to get out of those pans that I cooked them in because they wanted to fall apart as I was lifting them so this method guys is something you should try to keep in mind this works for me every time 12 hours in the smoke and wrap it and run the temperature up to 350 or 300 and you're done in somewhere between two to three hours and it's ready to go to rest I've found that to be very dependent or very dependable and repeatable and you can do this on any smoker you don't have to use a pellet grill but you're going to do that first stage of the cook at 200 degrees for 12 hours and then finish it up in the next two to three and it's very reliable I usually do this with butts that weigh somewhere in the nine to ten pound range so smaller butts may come out a little quicker larger ones may take a little longer but i've never had any go beyond three hours in the wrap guys give this a try let me know what you think until next time this is john setzler with man cave meals